Hey kiddo, you like our new TV screen? Yes, and I want to watch some Wilms. Uh, uh, dude, it's pronounced films. That's what I said. Wilms. I want to watch Wilms. Y you keep saying Wilms. It's pronounced films. That's what I said. I want to watch Wilms. Hey, welcome to our scene on Wilms' tumor. Represented by this kid over here who keeps trying to pronounce the word films and it comes out as Wilms. So Wilms for Wilms tumor. Also known as nephroblastoma. Represented by this nephron over here that's blasting away. And if you note, the nephron over here at the glomerulus actually has a picture of a baby. As in nephroblastoma, there are embryonic glomerular structures present, such as primitive glomerulus, tubules, and blastema. Now, the main character in our scene is a three-year-old, as Wilms' tumor is the most common renal malignancy of early childhood, especially ages two, three, and four. What are the symptoms seen in a patient with Wilms' tumor? Well, let's take a look at the baby for that. The first thing we know is the hematuria. Hematuria is a possible presentation in this tumor. We also note the large flank mass coming out of one side, as unilateral flank mass is a presentation in this tumor. He likes balancing this blood pressure cuff on top of his head. The high blood pressure cuff is going to help us remember the high blood pressure or hypertension due to the increased renin in the syndrome. Let's take a look behind this kid. At some point, he threw these leaven breads into the window. Leaven for eleven. And on top of it, there's this what sign. I don't know if he put it there. I don't know if somebody else put it there. I'm not sure. But the what is going to help us remember the WT mutations. The loss of function mutations of the tumor suppressor genes WT, 1 and 2, on chromosome 11. Finally, let's take a look at the screen itself. So on this screen, we notice a few random words. We'll explain what these are. And this is going to help us remember the syndromes which Wilms tumor may be associated with. The first is the WAGR, W-A-G-R complex, in which we see Wilms tumor, aniridia, which is absence of the iris, genitourinary malformations, as well as retardation, mental, physical, and intellectual. And this is associated with a WT1 deletion. Then we have DD for Dennis Drash syndrome, in which we see diffuse mesangelo sclerosis associated with the early onset nephrotic syndrome, and dysgenesis of the gonads. And this is associated with a WT1 mutation. And the third is the BW, beckwith wiedemann syndrome, associated with Wilms tumor, macroglossia, organomegaly, as well as hemihyperplasia, in which we see muscles on one side of the body bigger than the other. And this one is associated with a WT2 mutation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on Wilms tumor. Stay tuned for our next video and take care.